Okay, I'm pretty uh, upset about what's happening today. I'm seeing a lot of videos that make absolutely no sense to me. Um, it makes me kind of sad to see how some of my libertarian brothers are losing their way, I would say, and uh, falling into the trap of reputed objectivist Mr. Paul McKeever. Well, uh, I think you're you're falling into a complex, I should call it a complex. Self-ownership is a valid concept and it is prior to the liberty right. It's not derived from liberty. Liberty at tops is derived from self-ownership. Also, you don't have to be a dichotomist to realize and see the the useful character of uh, seeing the mind as something different than the body. Of course the mind can be reduced to the body. Of course the mind is going to uh, be equivalent to the body in the end of the day. But it is pretty useful to uh, look at it as not the body. The body would, would mean the brain, in this case, the mind would be something else. It's called an emergent property of the brain. This uh, philosophy is called emergentism, I believe. There are certain arguments against this, but I haven't seen anyone, or any uh, argument, I should say, that uh, satisfiably uh, answer why it isn't an emergent property of the brain. When And uh, to take all complexes away from people, I would like to say that, yes, I am my mind, okay? I am my mind. Mm -hmm. And I own my freaking arms, and I own my freaking eyes, and I own every single part of my body. And this is self-ownership, this means that my body is the property of my mind. It doesn't matter if the mind is the same as the brain or not, you can even do a reductionist, um, reductionist um, argument and say that we are our brains. I am my brain, you are talking to my brain, my brain is talking to you right now. You don't have to be ashamed of realizing that the brain is not the same as your liver. Your liver does not control your arms and your eyes. Your brain, however, owns your freaking liver and owns your freaking arms. It, it, in, it de facto controls, it owns. So self-ownership is a fact of reality it doesn't matter if it's the brain who does the owning or if it is some uh, metaphysical su uh, superior entity called the mind that does the owning one of them is i believe in the mind i believe in the mind and i do not see it as equivalent or or you know equal to the brain to me it is a different thing you do not have a mind without a brain you do not have a mind without the body but you can have a brain without a mind you can okay so i would like just to, to say this if you are of the crowd that believes in the mind that believes that self-ownership is a true libertarian concept that it holds value and you do not want to be held hostage by any um, reductio absurdum by any objectivist even though you truly res respect objectivism as I clearly do you just think that are certain people that have the many correct premises but aren't specifically brilliant and are deriving these weird conclusions out of amazing premises, like the objectivist premises. Yes, I'm talking to the Beard Fellow. So, uh, do not be afraid to stand out for your terminology. 
don't be held hostage. Self-ownership is a libertarian concept and you should defend your lexic. You should defend your terminology or you will lose your philosophy. That's all I wanted to say.